The Hummingbird Explorer series brings together advanced technologies and an easy to use interface, making it simple for any angler to elevate their fishing and make the most of every moment on the water. These units are packed with a ton of fishable features and contain best in class sonar, imaging, and mapping solutions. So in this video, we're gonna break down everything you need to know about the Explorer series. The Explorer series features a nice, sleek, slim design with a high quality display available in nine inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch models. The Explorer series has an extremely fast processor for quick navigation between views and settings, best in class anti-glare display for those bright sunny days on the water. It also features two micro SD slots to utilize Lake Master, Coast Master, Auto Chart Zero Line cards, backup waypoints, import waypoints, and we'll touch a little bit on that later. On the back of the unit, you're gonna see four simple connection points. You're gonna have your power for powering the unit, sonar for your transducer connections and Mega360, for example, ethernet for networking abilities, and you'll have NEMA 2000 connection for engine readout and other data. So each Explorer unit comes with a gimbal mount here. Each model size has a different size mount but all Explore gimbals are backwards compatible. And we do sell in-dash mounting kits separately. It also features a compact mega side imaging transducer with every unit, which gives you best in class side imaging, down imaging, and dual spectrum chirp sonar. One nice thing about the Explore series, it's a very simple product offering versus units of the past. And the only decision that an angler needs to make are the size of the screen and whether or not they want a transducer included in the box. So if you have an existing uh, Hummingbird transducer that's compatible with the Explorer, you can pick up a CHO model, which stands for control head only. And then there's no need to install a new transducer. You can use the one that's already equipped on your boat. The Explorer series features Hummingbird's cross-touch technology, quickly navigate between views or adjust settings with the keypad or touch screen. So over here, we have our keypad. I'm gonna show you each of the buttons. Um, we have our home button, I'm gonna take you to your home screen. This is gonna be your menu key, opens a variety of different settings. Plus and minus, so that's gonna be your zoom keys, in or out. Um, if you're familiar with Helix, you'll be very familiar with this four-way directional keypad. We have our confirm key, our exit or close key. We have go to, we have a waypoint mark button, a screenshot button, your power, so I'll turn on or off your, your unit. And then we actually have three programmable one boat network buttons where you can set up a variety of different features or functions. One example, if you have Minkota shallow water anchors, you can deploy or retract them right from your keypad here. So the backbone of the Explore series is it's easy to use user interface. That's meant to provide anglers of all skill levels, the ability to navigate menus, adjust settings, and take full advantage of its powerful capabilities quickly and efficiently. First thing is gonna be the home screen. You'll realize that this home screen has been completely reimagined with clear and quick access to functions that anglers most commonly use. And right here, you're gonna see your sonar views. So you can quickly access different technologies and sonar right from here. Um, you have your favorites. You can customize and set your favorite views here to quickly access them later. Um, you're gonna have data like waypoints and tracks, one boat network, your ability to connect to your phone, your trolling motor, shallow water anchors. We also have access to other tools here as well. We can create your own custom view with a variety of different templates and then you can just input your side imaging or down imaging or 2D sonar, whatever you wanna view, create that custom view right there. And then a variety of different other settings that you can access as well. So a key part of this user-friendly interface is gonna be the top and side menu bars. This menu bar is right here on the right side, right next to your keys. So when you're quickly switching between using the keypad or wanting to use touchscreen, you can access all of your settings right from here on the right side of the screen. So one thing you'll notice, so we have our favorites that we've seen on our home screen. We have our trolling motor integration. We have Raptor shallow water anchors installed here so we can see that as well. In addition to that, you'll notice this little menu key up top. That's gonna to give us sensitivity, contrast. So these are settings for our active pane, which is our side imaging here. One nice thing too, um, you can also access that sidebar menu by simply pressing our menu key here. I can quickly adjust sensitivity or contrast, sonar colors, all of those things I can access right there. So one thing you'll notice too around this sidebar, very simple, there's not a lot of options. So we've simplified this to the key things that you're gonna use on your selected view. By hitting your settings down here, you'll even have additional options based on your selected view. 
So similar to your sidebar, you're also gonna have this top bar that's gonna give you access to a variety of different settings and functions. We see we have side imaging selected, we have the yellow bar around it. So all of these settings at the top are gonna affect my side imaging. So for example, if I wanna pull up the full screen, I can quickly do that. If I wanna enter my view options for side imaging, I can do that. I can disable or enable pinging right here. I can change frequencies, but then know that when you're on different panes, you're gonna get different settings. So you can see those changed. For example, if I wanna change my mapping color palette, I can do that right there. All right, so one other cool user interface thing that I wanna call out, you see these things down here? These are in-pane touch targets. So I'm on my side imaging view here, so I have two options. I can quickly adjust my sensitivity by simply pressing these buttons. I can change my range. That means I don't need to pull up my menu and go find those same things. I can do it right from my screen. If you don't wanna view those, you can turn them off. All you gotta do is hit your view options and disable the in-pane touch target for side imaging. Now these in-pane touch targets will vary depending on the sonar view that you're on. So if I go to mapping, I'm gonna have different in-pane targets. So with the Explore series, we're really excited to debut a brand new suite of waypoint management functionality that a lot of anglers are gonna be excited about. So let's show you a couple things there. All right, so if we mark a waypoint here, you know, we can see our default waypoints. We can actually edit these. So if we wanna use different icons of our favorite colors. So if I change the red, I can also reset it back to the defaults, but then I can edit those favorites right here as well. We have a variety of different new icons for you to choose from, more vivid looking icons, rocks, grass, fish, bait fish, things like that. You can edit all of those, totally customize what your favorites are. Another thing too, you can actually open up all options. You can see all the data for this waypoint, for example, how deep it was there, location, date, all of those things as well. I can delete it. We have a draw to select function. So if I wanna draw around a cluster of waypoints like this, for instance, I can change the color of all of these waypoints quickly by just doing that. I can change those icons. Let's say we idled over an area and we saw a bunch of brush piles. I'm gonna mark that as a brush pile. I can also group these waypoints. So if I wanna create a new group called brush, label that brush, save. Now it's gonna put that in a group called brush. Another thing I can do is I can export these waypoints. If I had an SD card in here, I could send it to my SD card, which most Hummerbird users are familiar with. But now we also have the ability to transfer those waypoints directly to my phone and the One Boat Network app. Great thing about that, I can customize all those waypoints on the app from the comfort of my home. So one final thing I wanna talk about, if you go up here and you can go into My Data Tool, this will pull up all your waypoints, your tracks, and different functions like that, but you can see there's different ways to filter or search for your waypoints. So for example, it's gonna default to ranking it by name. So we just created that fake group for brush piles. I can filter by group. And then you can see those two brush examples are there. You can also see it's in that group of brush, how far you are from it, the date and time that we place that. One great thing too, this is an area you can select a bunch of waypoints or waypoints from like a single lake, for example, and you can export all those back to the phone or the uh, SD card. You can also import your old waypoints into the unit. If you import Helix, for example, into the Explorer, it's going to automatically convert those and apply them right on your screen. So we have some new color palettes for the Explore series. If you open up your menu, we can go right here to Sonar Colors. You can see a variety of different color palettes that suit your eye. And just know there's no one color palette that's best. It really depends on the body of water you're on or the, the sediment in the water or the time of year or honestly just personal preference. So GPS and mapping is critical to angler success on the water. One exciting thing about the Hummingbird Explore series is that it comes with our GPS and mapping solutions right out of the box. All Explore fish finders include a mapping card featuring Hummingbird's renowned Lake Master and Coast Master contour data of over 13,000 lakes in the US and Canada, as well as complete US coverage of coastal waters for saltwater anglers. Popular hummingbird features like chart presets, depth highlights, shallow water highlight, water level offset, and smart strike are all built into these units. 
and the card that comes with it. And if you're looking to use Lake Master's premium functions like aerial imagery and shaded relief, those features are still available on our regional Lake Master premium cards, which are sold separately. Another feature that Humminbird users are familiar with is Auto Chart Live. This allows you to create a custom map of a body of water that may not be mapped at all or has basic coverage. You can turn this feature on and off and create your own high definition map. So out of the box, these Explorer units are compatible with a variety of other Humminbird fish finders and the ability to network those together, but then also connect in with Minn Kota's trolling motors and shallow water anchors via the one boat network. So right here, I can steer the trolling motor. I can enable the prop, I can adjust speed, I can do all of that right from my Explorer unit. You know, I can enable spot lock so we can sit here. So not only can we control our trolling motor, we also have Minn Kota Raptors installed on this boat. They are in the network as well. So I can drop my anchors right from here. I can change different deployment settings, speeds, things like that, all right here from my Explorer. The Explorer series is also compatible with all of Humvert's advanced sonar and technologies like Mega Live, Mega 360, and Mega Live Target Lock. So adding to those networking capabilities, take advantage of the ability for your Explorer to connect to the One Boat Network app. So like we've mentioned already, the ability to import, export your waypoints from your fish finder directly to your phone and manage those waypoints from the comfort of your couch. You also have the ability to use your phone to update your Explorer software. Uh, you can view devices that are configured on your One Boat Network, whether that be other fish finders, your trolling motors, shallow water anchors, etc. The One Boat Network app also has an option for a premium subscription, allowing you to view Lake Master and Coast Master contour data right from the comfort of your home. We also have a self-help section with links to manuals, FAQs, video tutorials, or find local service providers. So now that you've gotten the rundown on the Humminbird Explorer series, there's only one thing left to do. Get on the water and elevate your fishing experience. If you'd like to learn more about the Explorer series, visit humminbird.com. There's more to explore.